it's crazy that I, when I first walked in, I was like, damn, I need a, I need a rough gym. I need a gym that's rough house, but they're clean and neat and elegant. This is the second location, it's not even the first one. So I've been with them since the first location, so, you know, moved to LA. I wasn't even officially here yet. And I started training with these guys, and it just, it has been on and popping ever since. These guys are like 200, 230 pounds, and I remember telling them, y'all the way, y'all out of shape, y'all this and that. And then they got in shape, they got in right. shape. Kind of <laughs> yeah. I, I did hand passes with every, every trainer that they had in here just to tell them like what I wanted, what I wanted. And so then, you know, one of the main guys was Leon, you know, he could take the body shots. He could put the bag on and it felt like it, felt like it has never ended. <laughs> so it's just like... So, you know, we at Lovewords, we, uh, we appreciate the chance, you know, it's an honor to, you know, Host him to be his to be his teammate to be his friend to be in his family. Um, it's it's very rare, very rare that you got the opportunity to watch greatness and witness greatness and, and be around him every day. And not just to be a commercial, but be really family with it. So from Glover Santa Monica to Century City, we're open up in New York in uh, in December. You know his second home is like the Barclays Center. So yeah. wherever the champ goes, whatever he needs, we got him because we're on the Lions only team. So we appreciate. Yeah. We well, need a gym in New York because after last time, you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. we got him. We got him. Yeah, <laughs> So. Then, I mean, I sparred the glove works. I done done everything. You know what I'm saying? It's not just like a, a, a where you just got guys coming in and just get, get in shape. It's not that type of gym. It's actually like these, these people here really learning the craft and they're learning the skills. And that's what I like. It's not a, it's not a, a title boxing type of gym where the corporation put it together just to make money. This is something where people are really dedicated. They spend, a, all, they spend all their time here. So it's, it's six to me. It's, it's beautiful. I know it's a relationship yeah. because you're seven days away from fighting for a world championship. Fighting for your world championship, excuse me. Yeah, so but I you know, know it's a relationship, but it's also fun. You know what I'm saying? This is something I do. Like, this is my lifestyle, and they live it with me. You know what I'm saying? And it, I can't ask for nothing more. I think it's awfully self selfless of you yeah, to do something like this. Boy, I mean, they think the Lions are all about uh, beating up people and mean and rude and all this, but, you know, we got a few billionaires in here today. A lot of millionaires in here today, and they learn the sport. You know what I'm saying? They enjoy the sport. Um, it's 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 not pressure on me. It's fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm thinking about like Saturday has just been a very fun night for me. It's even going should be a fun night for Trout. You know what I'm saying? He get the chance to get in there with me. You know, and um, a lot of people don't understand what they're facing until they're actually in the ring, and so. I'm excited to do what I got to do this weekend or next weekend, really. I feel like it's already here, you know what I'm saying? I've been ready for it, so uh, I did a 10-week camp. You know, camp is just camp now. Like, I'm 30 and 0, so it's just, I float through it. It's time to fight, weight drop, get on the scale, and enjoy it the next day, you know? But I, I, I tune in and I zone in every night, you know, and I talk to God and I just handle my business. And, uh, you know, just, I can't, I, it's whatever happens, happens, and I'm just ready for it. How's your relationship yeah. with God? I, I have a I have a great solid foundation with, with God, you know. And, um, a lot of people don't a lot of people don't understand, but we put our life on the line when we step in the ring, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, we got life insurance and we got health insurance and we got these things and these policies and wills and trusts to set up for family members and everything. So, um, I got a beautiful son and I want him to grow up on a, a solid foundation with his spiritual set. You know, um, you can't force anybody into a religion, you can't force anybody into believing what they want. But I definitely have a strong solid foundation with God and. I wanted to let y'all guys know. Um, even I pray for my opponents that after their life, you know, after boxing and everything, you know. Um, yeah, they talk their mess and they do what they do, but like, yeah, I'm here to end that and ruin that. This is my career right now, it's a legacy. How's fatherhood for you? Fatherhood is awesome, you know what I'm saying? I get to spend time with my son as much as I can. Um, when I'm in camp, it's like I, I go into missing, missing my son. Um, he doesn't live with me, unfortunately, but I mean, one day he. When they wake up, they understand that they, you know, that, you know that's just how life is when you got when you're not with the uh, the other. So, but uh, you know, it's great. I got four, five dogs, so it's always like I'm so busy doing something, you know, that helps a lot with my life. Man. But yeah. Uh, I just want to be. I, I just want to kind of like show the world something different that I'm never should put in the ring. Like, I'm looking to. I'm looking to. Be spectacular this time, you know. I know people ain't gonna really get a chance to see the Charlos and they keep seeing knockouts and all of this, but like I've been telling y'all all week, if y'all wanna go 12, we're gonna go 12, but it's gonna be ugly to go 12. Period. I don't play. 
and I'm in that ring, I'm conscious the whole time, and I'm ready the whole time. Unless they knock me unconscious, and that's their job. So I'm fighting against what you fight for. You know what I mean? And I'm ready for whatever. That October date is still set. Talk about that October date a couple months ago, you and yeah, I. Yeah, man. I got, I had, I, had, I was doing a shoot with GQ Magazine yesterday. Okay, let's talk about it. It's awesome, awesome. Uh, took all day, though. Uh -huh. Did a nice, finally, you know, they picking up on us, you know, so GQ hit us up. And we did GQ Styles, uh, that edition to be out probably like August, September, but, and they haven't had a boxing in, in a few years, you know, like, in a long, long time, so it's great for them to be able to get me and my brother switching outfits and I'm a professional model now and shit. So how let me hit me in the DM. <laughs> How's that momentum for you though? Like honestly, like, you know, I have been covering boxing a decade. It yeah. seemed like I woke up one morning, the Charlos are like, boom, on the scene. Not that I didn't I knew who you were, obviously, but to the, the public. You woke up maybe the six, nine months ago, like the Charlos have arrived. Well, it happened because, you know, like we consistently giving people what they want to see. But that's outside the ring, they said, man, let me really kind of like follow these guys and look, see what these guys really going to. A lot of people, man, like the biggest thing that they do to me is they just make up these lies and make up these stories. And we kind of like harvest off of the stories and the stuff that they made up. A lot of people believe what they want to believe. They really don't believe the reality of the things that's going on in life. And so, um, like I said, we good guys. We don't, we're not here for that. We, we, we know how to entertain you guys, you know, but like, we're good people, period, you know? Like the little lies and stuff, like we don't do drugs and none of that stuff. We really live a really good corporate lifestyle. And what's, so, the, what's the one thing that bothers you or gets under your skin about media comments that they may say? What's this? I'm in media that we say, excuse me. Um, I don't really, it's, it's just so many different things, you know? Like, um, they don't really know our lifestyle. They don't know what's going on outside of boxing. They don't know what we're doing. Like, you don't know what I'm doing when I leave here. So, um, like, interviews, they say a lot of stuff like we drink and already drunk. Really, we, drink, we sip a lot of tea. Like, I really want hot tea right now, you know what I mean? Because I talk a lot. We got raspy voices, so we grew up, like, sipping tea. And so, but when you losing weight and you cut away tea, just, like, it gets you right. So they got an eatery upstairs, though, so everybody for the go right now. We're going to sit down and eat and get some tea, you know, my brother. But other than that, I mean, life is fun. It's beautiful. They can talk mess about us and live their life, but it don't matter. How does the Charlie story end? How does it end? It's, I mean, promoting, managing, or uh, just doing something different, you know? This is my platform, you know what I'm saying? Boston is my platform, and I use it just for what it is, you know? If I could come in here and change lives and make something happen and make something different, I'm willing to do that, you know what I mean? And so, I just don't know what way, what way. What I've been seeing is that a lot of the haters and a lot of people that haven't been with us, I'm starting to kind of now say, I'm done with y'all. Like, I'm, I, I have to kind of like look back over, but they loyal to other boxers and that's fine. But now I'm getting up, the fans coming back to say, you know what? I really, I, I really rock with the show. Like, the fans, they just don't know it yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean. So I look at them, I ain't mad at them. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't hating you know, on them. Let them hate, let them do what they do. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you for your time. Well, sweet hands. Let me get you on with Jamal real quick. Oh, you want to go with Sweet hands? Why you call you sweet hands? I guess I got the hands. One more. Thank you. Appreciate it. I appreciate you, fam. You know what? Nah, that's it. That's it. Like I said, let's go to eat it and get some rice. Hey, you like bringing my phone? Yeah. I got you. I'm going to finish, man. All right, so we uh, guys, first of all, tune in June 9th at the Staples Center to uh, Jamel Charlo versus Trout. It's Lions only team all day, and stop by the gym. It's uh, Glove Works. You can follow us on Instagram at Glove Works, G L O V E W O R X. We're in Santa Monica on 14th and Wilshire. We're in Century City in the Westfield Mall, and in December we'll be in the World Trade Center in New York City with our uh, Glove Works New York City bicycle expansion. So find us at Glove Works.